a review of 2019 with Digital Eleanor and Digital Peter. It's been another really busy year for North Star. We launched our new values and social purpose statement and we killed the appraisal. We also launched our Surplus for Purpose statement and we decided it was time to act to minimise our impact on the environment. We have supported the fantastic and innovative work of Law Wood and Invisible Creations bringing new levels of dignity to adaptations in the home. We reopened our fantastic community hub in Thornaby following a renovation involving over 20 contractors and a lot of hard work from our staff. Our link panel also undertook some money-saving roadshows across the North East. Our scrutiny panel planned and hosted the first ever North East Scrutiny Networking event and we are early adopters of the National Housing Federation's Together with Tenants plan. We demonstrated our commitment to diversity by supporting and attending events such as the Black History Youth Awards, Middlesbrough Mellor and also Durham Pride. We continue to show our commitment to communities and people with work at the Community House in Evenwood and staff volunteering with Becky, Hugo and Elvis. Our staff, partners, human and canine volunteers have helped us generate over £3 million of social value. It's been a big year for supported housing. Aspen Gardens was awarded £10,000 to make improvements to the gardens. The Move On Fund gave us six new supported housing units in Stockton and Claire and Sarah spoke at the CIH North East Conference to share our success. Our welfare benefits team have increased our tenants income by 438k and our service complaints across the group have continued to reduce. Our income management has been excellent this year. We have reduced the number of empty homes and our arrears performance has been top quartile. We now have 680 tenants receiving universal credit and we've worked hard to support any tenants who've needed it across the year. Our gas servicing audit received substantial assurance, recognising the priority we put on the safety of our tenants. We celebrated one year of being back in the brand new Endeavour House. Stronger Together have also held a number of events, including popular Eid celebrations and a very competitive Plains and Pizza event. Our annual IIP survey completed by 89% of staff showed we are performing considerably better than other IIP organisations. We've done a lot of fundraising this year. We've ridden bikes, done colour runs, run marathons, sponsored ducks, slept out in the cold, donated to food banks, raised money for two really worthy charities and baked up a storm in aid of Macmillan. We have continued to build high quality homes across the North East. We have opened new schemes in West Auckland, Sedgefield, Hartlepool and Stockton. We have supported a number of campaigns in 2019, such as Dementia Action Week, Starts at Home celebrating supported housing, we signed up to make a stand against domestic violence and we took part in Time to Talk Day for better mental health. We signed up for the North East Initiative on Business Ethics. We also took part in Place Shapers Hashtag We Share Week. We cycled around North Star for suicide awareness and took part in 16 days of activism against violence towards women. We launched My North Star, our online self-service portal, and we're already smashing the uptake and usage targets. We 
Laura Wood was named on 24 Housing's Young Leaders list, and Angela was a finalist in the Tees Valley Business Woman of the Year, as well as being named as one of the Tees region's most inspiring business leaders and on 24 Housing's Power Players list. We were nominated for the Inspirational Workplace Award at the LGBTQ Northeast Awards. We were also shortlisted for the BME Tees Valley Awards in the Apprenticeship Organisation category. Aspen Gardens won gold at the Elderly Accommodation Council's Awards, with St Cuthbert's Court and Ruskin Court also picking up a silver and a bronze. We were also re-accredited for our Customer Service Excellence Award. And finally, in the top 50 landlords list, we placed second overall and were the highest placed housing association. It's been another really great year. Thanks for all your hard work. Merry Christmas, everyone. See you back in 2020.